This looks like it could fit a toddler. As I was trying to scrape this on my body, it felt like my skin was gonna rip off. I'm kind of concerned because that is very, very see-through. Honestly, if Kim doesn't make this into a swimsuit, I'm gonna sue. This is a rip-off. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, we have a very exciting video that I've been meaning to do for probably a couple of months now. Ever since Skims became accessible here in the UK, I've been meaning to do a video on it and I just never got around to it. But we are here now in today's video. I am gonna be testing out a bunch of things from Skims, Kim Kardashian's brand. This is actually my first time trying out any kind of body sculpting kind of fashion items and I am so ready for it. I mean, I've heard some really good things about skims on YouTube and social media in general, but I mean, you never really know if those are gonna be truthful, especially if they've been like affiliated or sponsored by any means. So just so you know, this video is an unsponsored, uncensored video trying out skims for the first time and we're gonna see if we like them together. If you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. Now I have actually also tried out Kylie Swim a couple of months ago on this channel. So if you want to check that video out, I'll have it in the eye as well as the description. Honestly, that video was interesting to say the least. That's all I'm going to say. You have to watch it for yourself. But anyways, that's enough chit chat. I guess you guys want to see what these skims pieces look like on. So without further ado, let's get on into the video. Okay, so here I have my box. This is how it came. It's not branded on the outside at all, which I was really kind of like surprised about. I mean, a brand such as Kim Kardashians, you'd think that they'd go the extra mile to like brand their boxes. I mean, okay, so it's branded on the inside. I'll give them that. But this is what I see inside. Wow, I love the packaging. Okay, so just a heads up, everything that you see in this box set me back 340 pounds. Can we just take a moment for my bank account? Honestly, I got everything that was like pretty much a bestseller slash raved about online. And I just felt like I needed to get this amount of items to give it a fair test, if you know what I mean. Inside here, we actually have nine different pieces. So I mean, it's a lot of money. But it's also a lot of like pieces in here. So I guess we'll see if it's worth it. So first things first, this is some of the packaging. So I really, really like it. I like the boxes. I think they look very premium and I like the fact that they're matte. So I've got four things that came in these like really nice boxes, but I also have some things that came in these little bags. So on the bag, it says I am not plastic. I am a compostable made from plants. I will biodegrade in your home compost and in an industrial compost facility. That is really cool. I am giving a massive applause to Skims for that because I mean, we see so much plastic when it comes to fashion brands. I mean, what do we start off with? I kind of want to start off with maybe like the bodysuit. It's kind of what started everything. So I want to try that first. Okay, so here is the bodysuit. This is the box that it comes in and looking at my order, this was 60 pounds. 60 pounds is a lot, okay? I'm not gonna lie, it is a lot. But if this makes me snatched and it's comfortable, I mean, it could be worth it. So everything that I got, I got in a few different shades that they do because they didn't have everything in my size in like one shade. So I got this one in the shade Mica. Okay, so I got my bodysuit in a size small to medium, but this looks like it could fit a toddler. It looks so small, but I guess it has a lot of stretch to it. So I'm hoping that's gonna be fine and I'll actually fit into this. So this is what it looks like. It is very, very small. Um. I genuinely don't know how I'm gonna fit into this, but we'll see. It's got adjustable straps. I really, really like the color. I think it's actually a really good shade match for me. I think this part is so funny. It literally looks like a diaper. Like, am I right? It's got two little buttons that kind of like clasp it and unclasp it. And then the butt area is so funny. Like, what is that? The fabric feels very like thick, which I'm hoping is gonna be good in terms of like sucking everything in. I personally get quite a lot of bloating and my belly does come out quite a lot because of it. So I hope that something like this will really help it and make me feel a little bit more confident in my body. I'm hoping I can wear this under like a tight fitting dress and not see like my little bloated belly underneath. So I guess let's try this on and see how it 
quite fits. Okay guys, so here is the bodysuit on by itself. I have to say this was a little bit of a squeeze to get into. As I was trying to scrape this on my body, it felt like my skin was gonna rip off. But now that it's on, this is what it looks like in all its glory and it actually fits pretty well. So here it is, this is what it looks like from the front, from the back and then also from the side. So as I said, I get a really bad bloated belly pretty much after every meal. I don't know what it is, but I thought I would eat right before testing these out to really put them to the test. So this is what my little bloated belly looks like right now. I actually feel like it's not that bad. I can definitely feel like a force pulling all of my stomach in and that is all down to the fabric. It's really interesting because you can really concentrate all the fabric on your belly wherever you want it to be. So I can pull it up and have like most of the tightness right here if I need it or I can like pull it down and have all of that like pulling sensation on my lower belly. I feel like no one that I've seen so far test out skims has really mentioned that with this bodysuit. Other than that, every other part of this suit feels really, really comfortable. Like I'm surprised that I'm not getting a camel toe. It's really snatching me in on the sides. And also the bra feels very supported. Like there's no wiring, there's no padding and I feel pretty secure. As I mentioned, the bra straps are pretty thick so they're not like riding into my shoulders or anything like that. They're pretty comfortable. I mean, I am definitely really, really liking how this is making my body look and feel. I feel very like secure and like my body is just being hugged. It just feels really, really comfortable. And like even this back bit here, it pretty much adheres to my body like a glove. I'm gonna show you guys a close up of how this looks, but yeah, I am really, really liking the fabric and everything else. Now, one thing I do have to say about the bra is that it is a little bit sheer, so you can literally see like my nipples through it, which is not ideal. But at the same time, you're also not wearing this just like on its own you are gonna be wearing this underneath things. So that's just one thing to take note of, but everything else in terms of like sheerness is fine. I actually feel like the shape of this bodysuit is so great that this would make such an amazing swimsuit. Like, can you actually imagine this as a swimsuit? It's so comfortable. It's literally like your second skin right here and it snatches you in so well. So honestly, if Kim doesn't make this into a swimsuit, I'm gonna sue. Okay, moving on to the next item. I think I wanna try out the Fits Everybody Slip Dress. I I actually got this in the shade, I want to say okra or okra? Is an okra a vegetable? I'm sure Kim wouldn't name a dress after a vegetable. But anyways, here it is. This is what it looks like. And this was again, 60 pounds. Not the cheapest by any means. This is again, one of those dresses that's like supposed to be really, really just accentuating of your curves. It's supposed to snatch you in. But I'm pretty sure you could wear the suit underneath this dress as well to give you that extra support and like extra snatching. So I will try it on with and without the bodysuit, but this is what it looks like. It's pretty plain. The fabric is actually very thin. Like, look at this. It's basically like tights fabric. I'm kind of concerned because that is very, very see-through. It's literally tights made into a dress. This was 60 pounds and I actually can't believe it because I could get this from like Amazon or Primark or even ASOS for like, a fraction of the price. I mean, who knows? I might try it on and literally completely change my mind, but until then, this is a rip off. Okay, so this is what the dress looks like with the bodysuit underneath. And I have to say, it's given me a lot of shape. I actually feel very secure in this dress considering I've got all that support underneath from the bodysuit. And also considering the dress is made of such like a thin fabric, it would be a little bit much to wear on its own. But yeah, I'm really liking how both of these look on together. I love the way this fits and the quality of the fabric is actually really nice. Now the only criticism I have about wearing the bodysuit underneath this dress is the fact that you can see the double straps. I kind of wish that Skims made this bodysuit but like a strapless version so that you could just wear it with a dress like this. But honestly that's the only criticism I have when it comes to this outfit. I actually really really like the way this looks. I guess let's just try this dress on without the bodysuit and see if there's a difference. So here is how the dress looks like with the bodysuit and also without from the front on sideways and also from the back. Let me know in the comments if you guys see a difference and which side you prefer. I obviously cannot comment right now because I haven't got the footage in front of me, but once I edit, I'm sure I will see if there's a difference or not. So yeah, now that I've got this dress on, I actually really, really like it, even though I didn't think I would, but I guess let's move on to the next item. Okay, moving on to the next three items. I actually have one sculpting bra to try with two different bottoms. I couldn't really decide whether I wanted the sculpting high-waist bra brief or the sculpting mid-waist brief. So I got both and these are all in the shade 
clay. So for reference, everything that I picked up for this video is in size small to medium. I really wanna see what the bra will be like because I am on the hunt for a good, like, comfortable granny bra. I feel like so many people are, like, embarrassed to talk about granny kind of underwear, like granny pants or granny bras, but honestly, I really don't care. Like, if it's comfortable, I don't really care what it looks like. Okay, so this is the bra. This is what it looks like. The shade is actually, again, really good. Just for shade comparison, this was the mica shade. This is the ochre or okra shade. I don't know how to say that. And then now this is the clay shade. So again, the bra itself is really nice. Like the fabric is nice and thick. It's again, slightly like sheer once you stretch it out. But once it's on your skin, I don't think it will be that bad. I really like the straps. They are again, adjustable and they're quite thick, which is really great for people with a slightly bigger bust. Obviously straps like this, when they're thin, they'll like dig into your arms. Whereas these will probably not do so much. I really like the fact that it kind of like cinches in the middle. I feel like that would be quite flattering on the chest. I mean, for like a granny bra, this is quite a cute design as far as granny bras go. I mean, it looks comfortable and it looks, you know, aesthetically pleasing. And now for the briefs, I'm gonna try the mid brief first. So let's open that up. Okay, so here is the mid waist brief. They seem to have a really nice like rubberized kind of band on the inside so that they won't slide down. To be honest, the most funny part of these is just like the butt area like it's got all this excess fabric for your butt to fit into and then it's got like this crack so I guess let's try both of these together and see how they fit okay so here are the two pieces put on this is what they look like I have to say these are pretty much the bodysuit that first bodysuit we tried but split in half into two sections the top half is exactly the same it's got that same kind of like strap on the bottom to keep everything nice and secure it's got the same straps it's got that same like cinched in thing on the middle and then the bottoms are exactly the same they just don't have that middle piece here I actually feel like I way prefer this combo even though it's pretty much the same just because this one has a little bit more versatility you could wear the bottoms on their own or you could wear the bra on its own it doesn't really matter and also if you feel like you're one of those people that doesn't really need that middle support in the mid waist from that bodysuit this is a way better option not only because you could wear it separate but also when you think about like going to the toilet this is just way easier I would say the only downfall to having these bottoms instead of the bodysuit is the fact that you might get some like skin sagging on the sides especially if you sort of like relax or bend over you might be able to see like some rolls forming right there just because this is sitting quite high up but I know what might fix that problem I guess it could be the slightly higher briefs so let's try them on as well and here are the slightly higher briefs I have to say if you want the look and the feel of the bodysuit but you don't want it to be in one piece I would definitely opt for these instead these are a little bit more difficult to put on than the slightly shorter ones just because there is more fabric and it's harder to stretch. I would say that the bottoms of these are pretty much the same as the bodysuit and the shorter briefs but obviously you do get that additional support on the ends here and you can also pull this up as far as the bra to make it look like the bodysuit. In my professional opinion I would say if you want to get the bodysuit definitely opt for this because it just gives you that extra flexibility you can take this off. I'm just thinking like toilet situations if you need to go you need to go and you don't want to be faffing around with a whole bodysuit so this is just way better all around so out of all the combos I've tried so far I would say this is definitely my favorite one just because it still gives you that snatched look but it's just way easier and way more practical now moving on onto something slightly different we have this set right here so these are the cotton rib boxes and cotton rib tank I would say that these could be worn underneath clothes but they also could be worn as like loungewear I absolutely love the way this looked on Kim but let's be real everything is gonna look good on Kim like her body's insane so this is the first item it's the tank top it's literally just a ribbed tank top this was 32 pounds for a white ribbed tank top you could get this from Shein for like five pounds the quality is really nice I mean it's like a very stretchy and comfortable tank top so I don't doubt that this is like a lot better than what you would get from Shein but it's just the principle like 32 pounds for a tank top that's so simple but yeah this is what it looks like I mean it's a tank top. We then have the matching pair of boxer briefs. That's what they call it on the website. It's pretty much a pair of cycling shorts. They give me very much Alexander Wang kind of vibes, especially with like the crotch area. But yeah, here they are. They look kind of like misshapen. Is that just me? Like they look wide at the top and then skinny at the bottom. 
I don't get it. I'm not too sure how to feel about these. I mean, 60 pounds for these two together. It's a lot, but let's go try it on. Okay, here is the next item. And this one, I have to say, kind of missed the mark in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, it feels and looks quite nice. However, the fit, it's just a little bit too baggy. So I got this in a small and I actually feel like this should just be a lot more adhering to my body. I mean, that's what like skims is all about, right? I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like so much like rippled fabric right here, which I just feel like should have been a lot tighter for a size small. As for the top, it's actually quite nice, even though it's such a simple tank top, but there's something about it that's really nice. Maybe it's to do with the squared neckline. I just love a squared neckline. Also, I like the fact that it's not completely cropped. It's actually quite a long top which you could totally wear with some jeans however if you do want it to be cropped you can totally like fold it under and it doesn't look weird or anything like that it doesn't really bunch up look at that I instantly just turned this into a crop top it looks so much better like this but the shorts I just really don't understand like this part here is so tight but then this part is so like loose either way this is what it looks like from the front as well as the back I mean, it's not that bad. Like the actual fit of it all over is fine. It's just that waistband. Let me know what you guys think of this set and whether you've tried it and what you think of the sizing because I feel like I should have sized down with this one. And now moving on to the last set. I actually got this in a brand new color. I got this in the shade Sienna. So the first item we have is the bra, which is the Fits Everybody Scoop Neck Bra in the shade Sienna. Again, I got this in a size small. Ooh, I like this. This is literally something that I would wear like as an actual outfit. This would be so cute with like a blazer layered over it. It doesn't necessarily have to be an actual bra. It has no padding whatsoever. It's just got like this stretchy band underneath. The fabric is again made of that same like tight fabric. The straps on this one are again thick and they are adjustable but they are slightly different. They're not made of like just a strap. They're actually covered in the same fabric as the top. I'm definitely a big fan of how this looks. This was 32 pounds for just the bra on its own. And then for the bottoms, I went for the Fits Everybody Boy Shorts. These are again in the same shade as Sienna and these were 22 pounds. I don't doubt that these are gonna be very comfortable, but they're also gonna be very see-through and like very breathable. So hopefully I'll be able to show you guys what these look like on without having to like blur anything because I mean, your girl does not want to get demonetized. I honestly wonder what fabric she uses for all of these because I mean I thought it might say it on the tag but it doesn't. It very much feels like lycra or the fabric that like tights are made out of so that's very interesting. But I guess let's try this last one on and see how it looks. Okay so here is the underwear set and what it looks like on. I have to say this one is a little bit sheer on the bottom half. It's not really to my liking but the style and fit and the fabric is great. The bra feels really nice like the fabric is so nice and soft on the skin. Out of many many sports bras like this that I've tried in my life. I would say this is definitely one of the better ones. It feels very supportive all around, but it doesn't feel really restricting and like really tight around my ribs. So that's great. The boxer briefs are so cute. I really like the fact that you can kind of wear them a little bit more high-waisted as they are quite stretchy. In terms of this underwear, I mean, it fits nice, it looks nice, and it's very, very comfortable fabric to wear. However, it was expensive. So I'm kind of like in two minds whether I think it's worth it. If you're into luxury underwear and you just don't mind paying that extra bit of money for a nice pair of quality underwear, then definitely go for it. But if you're kind of indifferent about it and you don't really care, then literally go to a place like Primark because they have underwear like this for a fraction of the price and I literally wear Primark underwear all the time. All right, guys, so that is everything for today's video. Let me know what you guys thought of Skims and whether you liked any of the pieces. I actually had a lot of fun trying out these body sculpting clothing pieces for the very first time. Let me know in the comments which one of these items you think I should personally keep. I don't think I'm going to keep everything because it's just way too excessive and I don't need it all, but I might keep a piece or two. Now, as my final verdict, would I say that Skims is worth your money? I would say it depends what item you actually get. For example, the bodysuit was great. It was £60, but it did the job. It was really, really worth it. However, some pieces such as like the tank top and the boxer set, I mean, £60 for that, you could get it somewhere else for way cheaper. I would say 
it's really good for like the body sculpting items like the bras were really good the boxes and like the underwear it was okay I think my favorite items of the whole video were definitely the sculpting briefs and the bra they were really comfortable and they just did the job so that's my final words on skims I mean some of the things were definitely worth the money but others you could probably get elsewhere anyways if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below be sure to subscribe as well if you haven't already also leave a comment down below which one of these items was your favorite or how your day was honestly anything it really helps out with the algorithm so I'd really appreciate it as always thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video I hope you're all well and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one bye Mwah.